And it's not just Portsmouth. The concern about gun violence is being felt across the water. News 3's Jessica Larche caught up with Norfolk Mayor Kenny Alexander to discuss. For, for families and communities that are in fear with the amount of gun violence, the spikes we've seen in Norfolk, across the water in Portsmouth, across the country, but for families who are afraid here in the city of Norfolk, what do you say to them? Well, I, I tell families all the time, we need to do more as a community. Um, you know, if there is a situation in your home or your community where a person um, has a gun and you know that that person should not be in possession of a firearm, please report it. Um, red flag laws, more mental health um, intervention and, and treatment. Um, more importantly, um, getting, the, uh, getting those persons the help that they need very early, those persons who are victims of domestic violence or, or, or abuse, physical or verbal abuse in their home, um, th it, it escalates to the gun violence that we're seeing. Something starts very early. Retirement certainly caught a lot of us by surprise. I've worked closely with him. And in his April State of the City address, Mayor Alexander said that Norfolk will not tolerate crime, proposing initiatives like gun buyback programs, reducing the number of guns through these programs have increased across the country since the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Although the research does not show a strong correlation between buyback programs of legal guns and reducing crime, it may take guns out of a home with an at-risk individual who should not have access to firearms. The mayor thinks communities should work together to combat the program, the problem. And we need to do a better job as a community uh, getting at the heart of that and preventing these crimes and these shootings and, uh, from happening in the first place in our, in our communities. And other solutions the mayor proposed in April include updating cameras and increasing police presence, both of which we've covered as new initiatives being taken in downtown Norfolk.